In this video, I'll be showing you 10 ways to make coins that actually work. Just before we get into the video, lads, if you do want to buy yourself any FIFA 21 coins, make sure to go to the link in the description and check out Mule Factory. They've got a 24-7 service. They're completely reliable. And if you use the code LE5CHEAP at checkout, you will get yourself a 5% discount. So, boys, jumping in to this video, as you'll be able to see, this is how the team is looking like after Team of the Year at the minute. I don't think it's too bad, to be honest. They play 4-4-2 in-game. It's not doing too bad. However... After team of the year, <laughs> I have been left with 16,000 coins. However, I do have team of the year Bruno. If you've not seen that video, make sure to go and click up here and you can go to a link which will show you me packing him. Oh, ah, ah, ah! However, in this video, like I said, it is going to be 10 ways to make coins in FIFA 21. These methods all work as opposed to some that will just be there and they won't really make you anything i've used all of these and as well if this video gets over a thousand likes i'll start a brand new trading series so if you want to see that sort of like a trade to glory something like that just drop a like on this video and i will get that out as soon as possible like i said though all of these methods that i'm going to show you i've used them they make coins really really good ways to make coins admittedly some of the low budget stuff is probably better for you who can't really be bothered learning the market and you want something a bit more blind and you just want to come on and you just want to make coins and you don't really want to think about it too much so moving into the first way to make coins it is going to be this method right here it's basically going to be premier league basic now using this method you're basically going to be sniping silver cards who are from either the premier league you can go for league earn if you want to in addition to that you can go syria you can go bundesliga and you can go la liga as well top five leagues it's really really easy what you do with this right so basically in the past what a lot of people would suggest for you to do me included would just be to come in and just snipe silver cards and just try and see how many you can get however i feel like this method is actually a bit more beneficial when you're actually sniping players who could potentially be at an average minimum price rather than just minimum price so for the premier league at the minute all of the players who are silver from the Premier League go for at least a thousand coins on Xbox. It will be different when you lads come to do this. So what you need to do is find the average minimum price on whatever console that you're on. In my case, it is a thousand coins. And then what you need to do is compare price and back out. And basically what you're hoping for is cards to pop up here. Now, the way that this method works is when I'm refreshing right here, anything under a thousand, I pick up because the average price to sell is a thousand coins. So if I pick up at say like 900, I can still sell at a thousand. Admittedly, I don't make loads of coins. However, it, I can still get the sell there but anything underneath you can basically pick up it's really really simple so you can see right here there are some other cards so you can see this is exactly why I do it at a thousand coins is because there'll be some cards who pop up at bang on a thousand that won't be seen in that other filter of just doing minimum price and you can pick them up for example this Eric Garcia right here I've just missed out on this guy but of that minimum price filter of just putting it down a couple hundred coins you wouldn't have seen this card or for example this guy from Villa at a thousand coins is probably a deal because you can sell them at 1.3 however with us working on a bit of a lower coin budget i'm not going to try and pick him up however that's basically this first method and it works like i said with prem Serie, a bundesliga liga and la liga santander the reason for that is is because they do have league SBCs. i'm going to list this up at a thousand coins however you can list it up with a tiny bit more over the hour mark or overnight when the market dries up ever so slightly and can get more for that card however i'm doing it for a thousand just to ensure that i get a quick sell on and this is usually the method that I would always recommend to people if you're on a low budget you can do this with as low as a thousand coins you go and play a game come out there's a trading method for you and as you can see right here there's a card popped up at center back in done his next one up is 1.5k we've just got him at what was that i don't even remember what that was i think it was like what 700 coins do you know what i mean it's it's easy boys it honestly is so so easy it's free real estate next up is going to be this method now all these methods that i've done i have done videos on them before however i think putting it all in one long video would probably be better if you do want to go to the description there should be timestamps in the description that you can go and click on in addition to that as well if you've made it to this point in the video do me a massive solid just drop a comment down below helps with the algorithm the more comments on the video the more likely that this video will get pushed into recommended so if you do want to help me out please do that because we are on the road to 125,000 subscribers so if you could do that boys that would be absolutely sick now with this method what you're going to do is set the min price to 200 coins and then the max buy now to 9,900 and that will actually show you a lot of cards they were basically not listed up for max price at 10,000 coins by setting it to silver again sticking with that top five leagues because the league SBC silver stars it's just easier doing it that way because there's more demand for those players rather than say using like an off league like the South African 
League or whatever it might be. So what you need to do is come through right here and what we're looking for here are undercuts on cards and what we're going to be looking for are cards around the 55th to the 59th minute because these are the latest cards that have been listed up and usually they will sit on the market. So as you'll be able to see here, I've come to the 55th minute. I found myself a Mengi right here at 1.9k. What I do after that is then come through and double check Men Mengi's price. I nearly said Mendy then. And as you'll be able to see, he is going for around 1.8k. Now the reason why I compare price rather than going to say foot being a foot whiz is because those prices can be ever so slightly out of date and they're not really beneficial in using. So what you need to do is check every single card one by one and just see if there are any deals. If you want to and you want a quicker way of doing this, I would recommend to just jump straight over to the 59th minute. However, if you use RB and LB to get there, sometimes it glitches out and it will chuck you past the 59th minute. So the best way to do it is literally just by holding your analog stick to the right and going over to the 59th minute. When you start getting to around the end of the 58th minute, you can start to slow down a bit and take a better look at some of these cards. What you're looking for are cards who are needed for league SBCs or they may be needed for say silver stars or whatever it may be. So we've come over here and we found ourselves a Congolo at 4,000 coins. His next one up is actually 2.8k. So we ignore that one. We go over to the next one. And again, we're looking for that 59th minute. So Benteke right here at 2k. Next one up is 2.3, 2.1. No deals to be had with that one. And then we're going to go over to Mengi again. I think Mengi was 3,000 coins, was he not? 2,000. Okay, I'm talking out my ass. I can't remember any prices. 3.5k on this Eric Garcia. Nothing there. 2.4k on this this guy that is actually a deal because I've just seen him on open bid at 2.6k so with this guy he's going his next card is going for 3,000 coins so I can list up if I want to it's say 3.2 or whatever price I want to if I don't mind waiting I've just found myself a chat array right here as well at 4.2 his next one up is going for around 5,000 coins I've got some Luckmans here at 4.1 and then I'm just gonna keep going as much as I can do back into the 59th minute because that's where the majority of the deals will be you come through do a full sweep of all these back out, refresh the filter any way you can by putting the min price down or whatever it may be, you come back in. So Martinelli there at 2.8k, I know for a fact that that's a deal at 2.8k. Next one up is around 3.8, I reckon I could probably get a sell of around 3.5, but already there we've made three deals and it, 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 it really wasn't that hard, boys, like at all. So there you go, let's move into the next method. Next up, sticking with silvers, it's gonna be max price, 1,000 coins, min by now, 1,500. Now, in the past, I've done 750 to 1,000. However, nowadays, with the prices being a bit all over the place after team of the year, I think this one is better. Well, it is gonna be silver still. These first three are all silver. What you need to do after that is come through and basically find yourself some cards, add them to your transfer targets, compare price, see how much they're going for, and then drop bids on them accordingly. And that will teach you the best best way to do this method. Once you've done it like that, you can then turn this into a bit of a mass bidding method. So this guy right here is going for 1.3k, 650, no coins to be had with that one. Next one after him is Xavi Jimenez, who is going for 2,000 coins, anything lower, 1.6. So 1.6 is his cheapest on this guy. So with this one, I'm going to bid maximum, say, under 1,000 coins, because the thing is with silvers, sometimes they don't sell on immediately, and what you always want is a quick sell on with silvers. Well, I do anyway. I mean, some people will say, nah, don't do it that way but for me I do prefer it to do it like this so you want to pick them up on an open bid this is usually better late on into the night when there's not as many people on the market or during the day like there is at the minute and then what you want to do is once you pick them up on open bid just flip them as quick as you can do so this guy here at 600 coins there we go his next one up was what like 1.6 something like that so if I massively undercut at a thousand coins I'm going to get a quicker sell on and I'm still going to get profit as well the reason why I'm going for that undercut is because I'm going to try and sell to someone else who thinks that that is a deal or someone who needs him for whatever it may be an SBC a different objective whatever it may be and then once he's sold on we'll be making easy coins that one was a really easy method I didn't think that we'd get one so quick but that's basically how that one works as well two words entrepreneurship all right, next up is going to be ChemStyle Golds. Again, I've used this method so many times before and I've done countless tutorials on it. Now, I'm going to show you the easiest way to do this and you can combine it with another method as well. So, go and find yourself a player. I'm going to use Alan for this example. To find yourself the player, what I normally do is I go for Golds who are from popular top five leagues who people will be using in starter teams, Road to Glory teams as well because a lot of people are doing Road to Glories at the minute. I've been coming up against people in division rivals who name their teams like Road to Glory and stuff like that. So, that says to me, 
see that people are going to be doing Road to Glories in the run-up to Team of the Season. Now, <laughs> admittedly, I have just got myself a very, very nice deal on an Allen right there, and I didn't even mean to get it as easy as that. Now, what you want to do is find the minimum price of a card. As you can see, Allen's minimum price at the minute is 3.4k. Now, once you've found yourself a card, what you need to do is then find that card with a Shadow or a Hunter chemistry style on them, depending on what they benefit from. Now, typically, I always find that Shadows are better because they are a lot more expensive. So, you can see right here, Allen with a Shadow on the market is going for around 3.9k. However, I have just got him with a Cam. And what you can do is go and pick up some of these different cards with these chem styles on. And what people will do is they'll list them up at whatever the base price is. So, for Allen, it's 3.4k. 4k with a shadow it's around 3.9k so there's a 500 coin difference there that you can list up at however like i said we have just got him in a cam so we can get a better deal on that potentially however his next one up is 3.9k so with that one i'm just going to list him up for 3.9k because you can see right here that there's 25 minutes left and that's at 4.2 next one's 36 minutes so these are selling relatively quickly i should be looking around a half an hour sell on to get these cards gone or what you can do is list them into the night however i will just be listing this up at a slightly slightly undercutted price at 3.7 just to get a quick sell on and that's exactly how that method works and it does actually tie me in very very nicely with a different method and it is going to be a position change method now one player who I was using this with the other day was Fakir now unfortunately we can't use Fakir because he is in the team of the week at the minute as far as I'm aware so that means that he's out of pack so his price will probably be all over the place so let's just go and double check what his price is at the minute oh no it's not actually too bad I'm quite surprised at that so let's just say Fakir you can use Fakir if you want to. I wouldn't recommend it personally because he's not in packs at the minute. So what you need to do is go and find yourself a player who is typically a central player. Now, this works best usually with strikers or centre mids or centre attacking mids. Now, what actually happens is, is a lot of people, like I said, will be building starter teams, road to glory teams, whatever it may be. And they may need different players like Fakir in, say, centre mid or striker to get chem. And then they change them with custom tactics in game. So what actually happens is that the player price of that card is typically quite a bit higher because it does actually cost you quite a bit to convert that player over. So if I go over to Fakir in CM for example and we just take this off, as you'll be able to see here in centre mid he's going for like 7.5k, 6.5k okay so he's averaging at around 6.5k but you've just seen with a cam he's going for 3.8k so what you can actually do which is really really good way to get some easy coins in my opinion is probably a better sniping method than just sniping the player straight up is find his average minimum price which again is something which is going to be like a constant theme throughout this video and it's around 3.5k at the minute which is naturally selling at and then what you can do is compare price and back out and eventually some cards who are in cm cdm striker whatever it may be or maybe some have got a shadow applied to them some have got a hunter applied to them and all these different combinations will make that card a lot more valuable and then if you want to you can sell instantly or you can sell throughout the night and in addition to that as well you will see cards like this one who do get slightly undercut and then you can pick them up for a deal now one little tip that i've got for you go to a card and just put it on the buy now just hover over the buy now and then when you actually see a card pop up again it will automatically be set to buy now and you can snipe these a hell of a lot quicker than if you were doing it just from bid and then you've got to make basically another button press which puts you out of favor so what i'm going to do dead quick i'm just going to go through and see if i can get either a position change one or a chem style applied one or whatever it may be an undercutted one overall though i think that this sniping method is a hell of a lot better than just using a couple hundred coins less because there's no way that you'll get as many position changes as if you were just doing this standard price in my opinion so i was having a bit of trouble with the fakir congratulations you played yourself considering he is out of packs at the minute so i would jump over to valverde instead and this has instantly worked so 3.2k on valverde his average minimum at the minute is around 3.4k if i go over to his position and check him in cdm he should be ever so slightly inflated at that position as you can see here 4.3k in cdm we've just got him at 3.2 that's around a thousand coins profit in addition to that as well i did manage to get myself a fakir snipe as well at 2.9k again i know that he's going for 3.4 five so that's really really good but honestly boys it's not hard to do all of these methods and as soon as you know all the methods you can start combining them and make even more coins but Let's jump into the next method. Now, this next method is something which is a bit time dependent and I don't really like recommending these methods because I'll show you a load of prices now. You'll watch this video in like two weeks or whatever it may be. Prices will be completely different. So I'm going to be talking about trading with fodder. If you've 
seen or heard about this before, you know exactly what trading with fodder is. It's basically trading around cards who are typically needed for different SBCs like Alaba for example. Now admittedly some people may be using Alaba in say Road to Glory teams, starter teams, whatever it may be. Or there's other people like De Vries, for example or I'm trying to think of another one who I've used quite a bit. Grimaldo actually is a really really good one. So what you need to do is basically set yourself a couple of different players who you know are decent in rating. Say for example Grimaldo is 84 rated. No one's probably going to be using him in a squad because of the fact that he's not the easiest to link with him being from Liga Noz. And what you need to do is basically find a couple of these different players and pick them up when they are low and sell them when they are high. And you might be thinking, well, how the hell do I know when a player is high? When do I know when a player is low? Now, typically in the run up to 6 p.m., fodder is lowest. And then after 6 p.m., depending on what content we get, they will be higher. So, for example, say we get an SBC, which is like a repeatable pack, which requires an 84 rated squad. People like Grimaldo will be really, really good to say pick up during the day. Now it's a massive, massive risky method. Now, if you wanna minimize risk as much as you can do, what you can do is do exactly what I'm doing here, compare price back out. You may be able to get some of the shadow and maybe sell to someone who's using him in the team for whatever reason. Or what you'll also do is find stuff like this, which is slightly undercutted at 7. nothing K, I was gonna say 7.3 and then flip them pretty quickly because his average minimum is around 7.3k. Admittedly, there will be a tax there of around 350 coins, so 7k isn't a deal, but the one before at 6.5 would have been a deal. And you basically can just go through like that. Or what you can also do is try and win them on open bid. Admittedly, open bid, in my opinion, on fodder isn't the best play because it's always mega, mega competitive. The more competition that there is on a filter or a player or whatever it may be, for me, it's never the best. So that's why I'm never that keen on just sniping players I prefer to do the compare price one because you can get them in a position change a chem style or whatever it may be so I'm going to come over to the 59th minute as you can see right here there's not really much kicking about I do have that one an open bid but obviously it's been outbid and it is about to go at 6.6 .6. however I know that I can get a sell at 7.3 so a bid max at 6.7 make 300 coins it's not the most in the world however if I was picking up loads of them and I have more coins to do so it wouldn't be too bad but you can see right here that there's just not that that much kicking about for fodder at the minute again this is a lot better when there's pack supply because these will get listed up for ridiculous ridiculously cheap you'll see undercuts of a thousand two thousand coins you wait overnight so for example with squad battle rewards you pick up loads of grimaldos on a snipe you wait until the morning they'll be going for more now today is in monday around half past one so there's not really too many packs being opened at the minute if people have got squad battle rewards they've probably already gone but we've actually just managed to win a grimaldo here at 6.7 and like i said i know that we can get a sell on at 7.3 maybe even be cheeky and sell at 7.4 but just for the, again for the sake of this video let's go 7.3 next up is going to be a bit more of a higher budget method so we're going to go over to quality we're going to say it's a gold team of the week and i've shown this method off before go to the top five leagues from the gold team of the week and then just go and do some sniping now again i'm not overly keen on just sniping and sitting here and going for whatever however if you're wanting something which is a bit more of a general method this one probably is the play for you now as you can see at the minute league earn is absolutely Absolutely battered at the minute because they've got players in packs. Usually, if there are, say, some players in here who may be needed for teams or they're a bit higher rated, this won't be as battered. But at the minute, there's quite a few players who are ruining these filters because they are in Team of the Week at the minute or say they were released in a previous Team of the Week and they're just not that good, so they are bringing it down. But Bundesliga, La Liga Santander, Premier League, Liga, and again, just the top five leagues are the easiest to do this with. As you'll be able to see right here, the minimum on the Liga Santander at the minute is going for around 19,500 coins and that's that Wiesman. Now, last night, I managed to pick him up on stream at 17,500 coins when I was testing out all these methods. So I know that La Liga is a good one to do. Usually, though, I would personally say Premier League is the best one because it's the most popular league. It's something where people buy for both SBCs and for the teams as well. So like that Wiesman, no one's going to be using him in a team. Well, they might do, but I personally don't think so. But say, for example, you go for this filter and you can get yourself an Ogbonna, he's more likely to fit into people's teams because people prefer Premier League because it fits them at a hell of a lot more so again you can come through and do compare price if you want to you can put this the tiniest bit higher just to ensure that you see as many cards as you can do one thing when you are putting this higher and you're wanting to do compare price don't have any more than one card over the hour mark because it won't refresh as quickly i don't know why that is that just seems to be the case so you can see right here with a bonner there's more than one over that hour mark i have just seen a telemans though with a shadow on him and i should have probably picked that up where is it Twenty one and a half thousand coins with a shadow on you are you worth it? That is the question. 
I mean, I'm not got enough coins anyway, and it was actually a deal. Nice, nice. And there's a me there as well at 21k. How much is me going for? 22k, okay. So I'm not missing out on too many deals, but basically you get the point, boys. If I had the coins as well, I would show off these methods the tiniest bit more, but unfortunately, I'm really low on coins. I'm waiting for other stuff from the video to sell on, so we can't do it. It is what it is. Oh, it is what it is. It is, it is what it is. <laughs> However, one thing that I can do if I am on this lower coin amount, and you can do this as well, is just go to the min price and set it to 9,500 coins. Set the max price to 11,000 coins, and then set the min buy now to around your coin total. So I'm just going to set this to around 15,000, 20,000. So basically what I'm doing with this one is, is I'm coming through here, and I'm basically trying to look at Team of the Week cards who fit my budget. Now, the one thing with this method is, is if you're on PlayStation, it will be absolutely impossible to do. It will be honestly impossible to do this is a kent here at 15,000 coins oh i thought that was a really good deal then and then i've just seen that at 15,750. sorry about that anyway with this what you can actually do is you can come on and you can basically filter team of the week cards by an open bid now what people do when they try and get a quick sell on it is they'll just set the buy now price of a card so if you set this min price to nine and a half thousand coins and eleven thousand coins or maybe even a bit higher if you wanted to just to match whatever it is you can actually scroll over to the 59th minute and what we were doing with the silver method you can do with informs as well now on playstation it's very very hard to do this with because there are just too many cards and there's just a massive massive supply on all of these so we've got an aguilar right here at 15,000 coins 18,000 next one up is there anything cheaper than 18,000 you know what i think i'm actually going to pick this up yeah i think i am next one up is around 17,000 coins yeah obviously obviously as i was saying though you can set your filter up the whatever way you want it to you can ideally try and get it as scarce as you can do now once you've say missed out on a deal come back out refresh scroll back over to the 59th minute do that thing what i was talking about i've just balls up the filter do the thing that i was talking about where you have to go through and just go one by one by one by one and that way you'll be able to get better deals so you can see with this guy right here his next one up is around 16,000 coins i could pick up at 15k try and sell onto a lazy buyer but i'm not prepared to wait overnight but again you can see exactly how this method works if i wanted to i could put this slightly higher and go to 25,000 coins it really doesn't matter but you ideally need to set it to around your coin total so you can see right here that there's a pretty big gap now between this card right here and one over the hour mark and we're looking for the 59th minute because people will list up usually for an hour so again you just have to come back out refresh come back in come back out da -da 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 -da. and again there's still a gap there it is it is what it is. Sticking with that theme of finding players though who are on an open bid and they've just randomly set a price, what you can do is do some trading around special cards who have hunters, shadows, stuff like that. Now this method absolutely carried me and this is going to make up our ninth and 10th method. I'm pretty sure I've added everything up right here. Now what you need to do is go over to quality, set it special. Can be style, can be shadow or hunter. Which one you prefer to be honest i prefer shadows you can use hunter though i've seen a few people using hunter and it can work for them min price nine and a half thousand coins or ten thousand coins completely up to you max price is dependent on what's on the filter at the minute and the min buy now likewise now the reason why i say that is because it'll always be changing so say for example i go over to the 59th minute so you can see right here i've actually set this up right first time i, I didn't even mean to do that so if i go over to the 59th minute what i need here is one card over the hour mark or just no cards whatsoever and the way that you get that is by by fiddling around with this max price and this min buy now and then once you've set it up correctly you should be able to find yourself some deals so what you're actually doing here is basically sitting on this filter doing compare price and back and trying to find yourself decent deals so for example right i've just found this andre right here at 37k i'm not going to pick him up because i've got 25k then what i would actually do after that is jump over to say foot bin or foot whiz and i'm going to come over here and i'm just going to go over to andre and i found him at 37 and a half thousand coins so where is he let's have a look benjamin andre this one right here then what i'm going to do is i'm going to come over is xbox one price at the minute is 37,000 coins so that one at 37k isn't a deal then what i can also do as well is just come over to his hourly graph go over to today and i can go over to yesterday as well and i can just see what he was going for roughly on xbox and playstation so it actually looks like that he's actually gone up from yesterday or oh, he's steadied the oh no he's, yeah he's gone up ever so slightly he was around 35,000 coins last night in weekend league sell-off but today he's been averaging around 36,000 coins 
it's not a deal. It really isn't a deal. Ideally, for me to buy that card, I'd be looking at, say, 32k. I can flip him on at 36k. So with that one there, there's not really too much to be said about that one. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to come back out, go to the max buy now at 15 million, and just put that down by one. As you can see right here, a Kamara has just been listed up at 65k. The less said about Kamara, the better, because I've lost so many coins on him in the past. And now there is actually more than one card over the hour max. So I'm going to change this max price as much as I can do, and I'm going to change this min buy now as well to just match what we're doing. And I'm going to come back over here and I'm just going to scroll over to the 59th minute and I'm going to see if there's anything there still, which there is. There is actually more at the minute. So what's the minimum price? Zelvedi at 13,500. So let's go over here. So I think I need to come under 13,500 coins. Let's go to say, I don't know, 11,500 coins here and then set that min buy to that and then come back over. And as you'll be able to see, I filtered it out now and that's pretty much all you need to do. And again, I come through and I just sit here on the 59th minute trying to refresh as much as I can do and just see what's going to pop up sometimes you'll get really really good deals thursdays are a really really good day for doing this because a lot of people are just selling the teams on so ron magnoli there at 40 and a half thousand coins it's not a deal because i can't afford it but it is a deal because his minimum on the market is around 50,000 coins. And I'd be very, very surprised if someone hasn't already picked that up. So if I just take that off, and as you can see, someone's already picked it up. And that's exactly how the method works, boys. It's a really, really good way to make coins. I found a dump freeze here at 33,000 coins. I'm not too sure if that's a deal or not. I really don't know. Again, I can't afford it anyway because I've only got 28k. But there you go, boys. Well, let's, we're going to move over to the transfer list. As you'll be able to see right here, I've actually sold on quite a bit. There's a couple of stuff that's not sold on straight away. You do have to be quite patient when you're trying to do trading to be honest now in the past i've tried to go for like quick stuff as i've done the trading to one million coin series i actually think that this way of trading is a lot better just being the tiniest bit more patient but boys if you enjoyed this video please do drop a massive like on it like i said big like target at the start just comment down below as well and just subscribe if you are new we are on the road to 125,000 subscribers it's been about two three weeks since i've done a trading video so hopefully we can get a lot of support on this video if you enjoyed it like i said drop a like on it boys follow me on instagram there'll be behind the scenes 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 stuff there follow me on twitter as well i'm doing quite a bit on twitter at the minute you can also join as well. We've got members as well if you want to get into a Discord. So, boys, it's Betty Six, Lewis, and I am off. Goodbye. Damn it.